What is going on, everyone? My name is Under the Radar, and welcome back to the Draft League Viabilities. Today, we're going over the number one Pokemon that I suck at facing in the entire world. Go ahead and laugh at me. <laughs> I already did, like, three months ago when I was the one who did it. So, yeah, in case you haven't noticed, I have two people in the call with me. And uh, go ahead and say who you are and what your experience with Manaphy is. You, what is up, PPL fans? Shoddy here, coach. Uh, yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shoddy. Uh, I had Manaphy for two seasons now. Well, this is my second season of me having it. Um, and it's amazing. I had two six O's involving it, uh, one against a certain other person in this call, uh, which I will not further mention. <laughs> And it was one of my MVPs in the last season, and now it's going a similar route. Hi, everyone. Yeah. I'm Onatui. I had Manaphy last season, first season of the PPL Division 2. I uh, got to second place on the total MVP race until somebody brought a rock polish cabalion. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, everyone does. Oh, is, it was talking about my experience of crits. Yeah. <laughs> crits and sub tail glow Manaphy against me. And also no skull birds against Droom. Right. Yep. Or anyone for that matter. <laughs> and you got a 6 0 with Manaphy too, right, Mono? Uh, yeah, I did. And I who did. was that against? Uh, that was against you, buddy. <laughs> that was against me. I switched in two Pokemon the entire game. <laughs> I remember that. I, I do. I, so sad. I may have tried <laughs> at the end of that video and I just kind of sort of cut it off very abruptly. <laughs> may have happened. But. That's my fetish. <laughs> God damn it. But basically, in this video, we're just going to be talking about arguably the best Pokemon in draft format. I have I think it is. What do you guys think? It's up there. I agree. It's up there. It's definitely up there. It's up there. It's, it's, it's like... Despite me loving Megalopony and Clefable so much, I think Manaphy is still better. Yeah. Uh, I feel like... Uh, this is like just me. I feel like Mew can be better, but that's super heavily, yeah. ridiculously dependent on the team and the coach. Manaphy... Fits mm -hmm. on a lot of teams. Not every single team, but it fits on a lot of teams, and it's relatively easier to use. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you Man, also yeah, have to You take can definitely in, be up there as well. And you also have Maybe. to take into consideration, like, the fact that Manaphy can just be basically anything. Like, it can be U-turn support, knockoff support. It can be a cleric if it wants to. It, what, like, rest, rain dance is really cool because you can get rid of dual a screens. Bunch of status, dual screens, like... It gets calm ancient mind. Power get the boosts. <laughs> it does get ancient power. You can get the boosts. It gets calm mind. Yeah, tail close set up on everything. <laughs> set up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I might be crying a little bit. That's okay. I'm into that. <clears throat> what sets do you guys think are best to run on Manaphy? Uh, probably the best first. are the, okay, the best are the two setup sets being Tail Glow and Calm Mind. Calm Mind is extremely good against teams that don't have a water immunity or don't have something like a Shaman or a Celebi that can hit it on the physical side with Stab. Um, once you get up a couple Calm Minds, special electric types are not going to be able to touch it. You can, with the Rain Dance set, you can, with the, uh, the Rain Dance Calm Mind set, you can beat an Unoracle Fable, as you've learned as well. Because God damn it. I have learned. And by the way, <laughs> that Manaphy set was designed to beat Underwear Clefable. Absolutely, but it was just the standard Rain Dance Combine Manaphy. Because in the rain, you're going to be doing about like 30 to 40% with a Scald. And Moonlight is only going to be getting you back 25% because it's in the rain. And that's yep. how that works. And you only and then have you eight add of them. Burn. Yeah, and then you're going to get burned eventually. You only have eight Moonlight, so it can be that. It can potentially set up on a Mega Venusaur, even if it has Giga Drain, because same thing, the Rain Dance cuts down Synthesis's HP. Uh, Giga Drain, after a couple Combines, is not going to be doing anything. And, of course, being a base 100 Pixie, it's going to have ridiculously good defenses regardless. What, yeah. What's your favorite set uh, to run? Shoddy, who cutie butt. Okay, <laughs> um, I think the call mind one is much much scarier. Um, like with the Toyota one, you can just bring in something faster that can oko it, which isn't much, but they exist. Uh, like a Specs Raikou, a Specs Thunderous, whichever it may be, you can bring those in and just kill it, or just Volt switch out a uh, Scout for a Walk on Marie, that kind of thing. Um, with call mind, if you don't have a War Absorber or something else that has like fucking Psych Up or something stupid, uh, some gimmicky things, uh, which I would recommend by the way, it's probably really cool. Um, you just lose. Like, if it just beats, it can 6 0 teams much, much easier than Taylor would ever be. Um, 
And I think Combine is the one that people should be more scared of, in my humble opinion. And mm. Not even that, but it, it doesn't even take like a <clears throat> full setup. To like six zero someone to where like with plus fable, yeah. you have to set up to like plus four, maybe plus five to be able to two hit KO everything. Or Manaphy, even the Scald resists. Once you're in the rain, it just it doesn't really matter. Once you set up to like plus three, you're still doing a massive amount of damage. Like I think I think yeah. you were up to like what plus three mono and in the rain plus the burn, you're <laughs> doing over fifty percent to my melodic. No, oh, absolutely. It was it was just nuts. Yeah. What kind of team support? Do you guys think that this thing needs? Uh, um, I mean, the main thing is to have a good ground type, like a really, really good ground type, because the main answer are electro types. Uh, also, have a good uh, switch into grass types, like a crowbat or whatever else you might want. Um, like the optimal core would probably be like something Needle Queen plus Zapdos. That's what I wanted. Didn't get it, but it would, <laughs> that would just make Manaphy uh, stupidly good. It, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Because again, like the really the only things that can revenge kill Manaphy are typically fast electrics, fast grass types. So having something like that that deals with both of them is really nice. And you really only need two of those mons each because one good ground type stops most electric types, and one good mon, like you said, Crobat or like Amoongus even can stop other grass types. I mean, it's not the best example. Whatever, continue. Well, like a good fire type as well. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, see, I was going to say that a, that a decent bulky fire type is actually pretty cool. Like, if you have a Heatran mixed with it, I think that could be really nice just because it can take on the electric types pretty well. Its its weakness is a four times ground weakness, which isn't necessarily the most common hidden power to use. And most electric types need a hidden power like ice or a hidden power of fire to hit other things. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think things like Heatran That's always true. work nice. Mm -hmm. yep. I also really like the idea of having, like, a Landorus with it because it, it can really synergize well with the Landorus just because it four times like Ice Weakness, then you have Manaphy to just switch in and soak it up like a sponge. Especially if you're going up against like a Weavile and it's gotten the Intimidate off or whatnot, you can go into the Manaphy and do your thing. Set up. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. because your opponent's going to know that they have a switch into your Electric move, so you can potentially play around that. Expect them to go for the HP Ice and hit them with a plus three water move and knock them out. Yeah, or get a free switch into Rata, which could be like a massive threat, like an mm -hmm. Extrill or Lando, you know, whichever it may be. Yeah, especially um, also on that topic, offensive ground types are also really good. Like a lot of people like to pair this with Hippo, which makes sense because that stops almost every electric type bar like the Thundies. Mm -hmm. But things like Excadrill, Nido Queen, Nido King, or whatever, once you switch into an electric move, your opponent likely doesn't have a great switch into those mons. So you're putting immediate pressure on one because... Oh, uh, yeah. Your opponent is threatened first because they're fronted by a plus three mana fee. If they make the safe play going for the electric move as you go into your offensive ground type, now they're immediately pressured again. That's yeah. another really awesome thing about mana fee is it doesn't, like, one, one turn is all you need to make an instant threat. So if you're able to set up again later on, you're not afraid to switch in and out after you've set up to plus three. Because normally with, like, Calm Minds and things like that, you're like, well, <laughs> I've already dived in. Dived, dove, divin, dividend, divin? <laughs> yes. That nice word. English. Like you've already dove <laughs> into the setup. You kind of sort of have to like commit to it or you're going to be screwed for later on in the game. I think that's one also really cool thing about Manaphy. Mm. Yeah. A lot of. I think we should also mention. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> we should also mention those aren't the only really good sets. Um, just the threat of setup is already big enough. Like, for example, I remember last season against Rai, uh, we were so sure I would bring a setup mana if that isn't bringing uh, rest, rain, and two attacks because I need the fist death mon from Mamoswine. And that just fucked his team over because he couldn't kill. He prepped for the, the setup one. Yep. But couldn't kill the defensive one. So every set that mana if can run is pretty fucking good. Even I, I also ran like U-turn knockoff last season, which also worked. It's, yeah, that, that it's was a really fucking that was probably game. one of my favorite sets that I've ever seen you run, just because it's it's something that's so unpredictable. You switch in like your electric type to or your or, or your other bulky water. You can knock off the leftovers, and then you can go into your shaman that you had, for example, and just instantly threaten it out. And then it's taking a lot of residual damage to stealth rocks. I think you had spikes up in that game. Like there was just a lot in that game that was really cool. It also gets heal bell, which I also ran. It does get use it, but I had it, <laughs> um, which is cool. A lot of teams that I've seen that go up against Manaphy, they have like Dragon Tail, Haze, Taunt, and all this other weird, not weird, pretty standard stuff to uh, prevent setup sweepers. 
do you guys think that that is a good idea? Or would you rather just let it set up and go along with it just because the threat of Manaphy sitting in front of you and constantly attacking you is almost just as scary? Um, I mean, if you have a psych up monarch and beat it, then go ahead and do that. But it's risky. I think if you have a good monarch and like haze it or drag tail it out or whatever, it's probably better, like safer. And taunt, taunt in generally just very good against the call mindset. Yeah, but especially like against the tail glow set, things like dragon tail and taunt are not super helpful because a lot of the times your taunt user yeah. is not going to be faster than this thing, so it's going to get up to plus mm-hmm. three anyway. And if it's a dragon tail user, dragon tail always goes last, and you're going to be taking a plus three hit regardless. Exactly. Yeah, and that's so like that sucks. Even mirror code is thing. honestly a really bad idea. With like, I ran mirror code melodic against your man if you're trying to get it to kill itself, but you could just kind of sort of predict around that easily. You knew when the damage rolls were gonna. Like when you were out of range to where you wouldn't die from it. And I think that there was just so much. Like, there are so many moves that people try to use against this thing that it's just not a good idea to use. Absolutely. The, yeah. Really, the best way to beat this thing is to figure out what type of mana fee it is first and then act accordingly. Yep. Which is yeah, scary because, say. you know, in order to figure out what mana fee it is, you basically have to watch how it sets up. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of like Zart in OU, where you don't know what Zart is until you switch it in and it's already too late. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which can very well happen. <clears throat> so, like, it's very scary because of the two different sets. If it just had one good set, it would be a little bit better to deal with, but it doesn't. can't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, overall, you guys said that this is up there for the top. What grade would you guys give this thing? Uh, I would well, I would give it an A. Um, I would give it an A plus with a star. <laughs> <laughs> like with another a, thing we didn't mention. Tiny is, little boner. Um, <laughs> I think uh, Joey Pokier mentioned when he, when he drafted in UCL way back then. It has this huge advantage over um, ladder play where you can pick the three moves that hit the entirety of his of the opponent's team when you oh, want yeah. Tail Glow. Which in standard you you know you can't hit the entirety of the game with just three moves because if you run like Scald and Ice Beam, somebody could Feral Thorn walls you. Mm-hmm. If you run HP Fire or something, you can't hit like a Water type or whatever. Exactly. So like, yeah. That's just another thing that makes it much better, and yeah, it gets it gets an A plus for me. Believe it or not, I've actually seen some leagues where they actually ban Manaphy because they I'm not think surprised. because they think that like exactly what you guys were saying that once it sets up, it's too late. The game is over once it sets up. Like in our game that we just had yesterday, Shadi, once you set up the sub, it was too late for me. I knew I had nothing that could do it because you were behind a sub. Yeah. I couldn't break it with anything that I had left. You could set up a tail glow. You could get up to plus six and just beat me. The game was over the second that you set up the sub. It's just... Yeah, that's why I had it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is, it is really, really, really good. I don't think like it deserves to be banned in any league, you know, much like here in Blurk. But, you know. <laughs> or Megalodios. I hate both of you. <laughs> but I'm going to give this thing an A+, plus too. I think that this mon is easily the best in the format just because it's so easy to build around like most people want a bulky water type you have a bulky water type most people want a setup sweeper you have a setup sweeper most people want a u-turner and a knockoff user you have that you have a cleric you have it you like anything that you could possibly want you have it oh one other cool thing that yeah. i forgot to mention a buddy of mine papa c in the mpl i believe it's called my npa and something or other where he was playing dan and he had the, the calm mind cresselia he ran heart swap because it just takes away all the stat changes. So if you have something on the other team that can set up on you, let it set up. Send this thing in, instant setup deterrer. It's really cool in that fa- in that fashion for bulky setup sweepers, and I really like that too. So yeah, A+. Plus. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I don't know if something this is something that we mentioned, but there's no like one Pokemon that walls this 100%. Yeah. No. It doesn't exist. It it doesn't exist. Even like a combine Greninja, <laughs> like a combine Greninja. Uh, uh, damn it! A combine Cresselia gets beaten by uh, Telglow set and by Scalding over and over again. Like I or said, unaware trans- Mons, unaware or if you Mons. Are... Telglow Shadow Ball. Yeah, that as well. Uh, you can run Skill Swap if un- you really want to for <laughs> for table. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, unaware Mons are beaten by the combine Rain Dance set. Things like Quagsire. And Clefable are not going to be able to take this on. Quagsire, of course, gets hit by Energy Ball as well. So there's no And even one... if it is unaware, you can hit it with Scald, which is then neutral. Yes, there's, there's a lot. There's really not a... 
there's really not a great way to deal with this thing defensively. You almost always have to deal with it offensively, which is not the easiest thing to do yeah. in the world. I guess yeah. that's this where it just beats based... uh, defensive teams. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It, it just does. does. It 110% beats every single type of bulky team that there is. And then a lot of times you have things like Garchomp, which outspeed it, but if you have a little bit of a slower team and they run max HP, you're not Okoing it, even if you're like trying to start outrage. Shout out to me. So it's like, <laughs> it just doesn't work. Even checking it offensively is still super difficult unless you have a stupid fast electric type, stupid strong electric type, or Shaman. So good Draft luck out there kids. facing the Manaphys because GG. Mm-hmm. Always draft Thunderous Kids. It's good. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. But, but I think that is going to be the end of this episode. Again, with me, I have Shadi and Monatui. Both of their links will be in the description down below. They're both amazing players. They both have 6 owed me. They both have more knowledge than I think I will ever have in the entire format. So make sure you guys go check them out. They both deserve a lot more than what they get. And plus, Shadi has 359 subscribers, which so do I. So make sure don't put him above me because I like being under him. If you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh well then <laughs> but with all that being said i'm gonna go to get out of here i hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next video bye-bye you bye you fuck you <laughs>